Hey, Crazy Week Update, we'll be talking about how to fix an SD card that is showing the wrong amount of data. Stay tuned and I'll show you the steps I took to make this work again. Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to fix an SD card that is showing the wrong amount of data. So, here's the scenario for you guys. I recently got this camera to review for my channel, which is coming up in the next couple weeks. It's an action camera called the Brave 6 Plus. Take a look out for that video. It's a really cool little camera. I've been playing with it. But I had an SD card that I formatted for a Raspberry Pi. And every time I put it in, it would show that it was only like 40 46 megabytes, that's it, or 45 megabytes, and that's it. And it was really frustrating because I have this SD card, it's 4K ready, I think it's the only one that I have that's 4K ready, and this is a 4K camera. I'm like, great, now I gotta get an SD card, and I'm like, wait, it worked. I had it working in several Raspberry Pis, there was nothing wrong with it. The first thing you gotta do is start looking at the SD card. And what you're gonna be looking for is cracks, breaks, anything on the SD card to show that maybe it's something on the card itself. And you want to look at these little prongs in here too to make sure that none of them are damaged Now I did all that and I realized that this is a fairly new card. There was nothing wrong with it I didn't mishandle it. It wasn't cracked in any way. None of the prongs were misshaped or looking funky Everything was fine with it But let's go over to the computer and I'll show you what it's doing and see if it's a problem that you're having all right, so here we are. It comes up as boot because I made it a Raspberry Pi image and I wasn't able to get anything out of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Disk Utilities and if you're on a Mac or Windows, it doesn't matter if this, this works for Mac or Windows. Let me be clear about that right off the bat. So if you're on a Mac, you just wanna go to Other and it should be Disk Utilities. You just click on that and when you open it up, you click on the boot. If you notice right away, it's only 46 megabytes. That's it out of this whole 32 gig SD card. It's a 32 gig SD card. Out of 32 gigs, I'm only seeing 46 megabytes. And I'm thinking something's wrong. Like, what's wrong with this thing? It's not working correctly. So, which is really frustrating. And if you try to use first aid, it checks out okay. Still doesn't do anything. If you try to erase it, Let's say fat, erase. And you click on high, it's still the same. Nothing's really changing and it was very frustrating. I'm just like, wow, I guess I killed this SD card. What did I do? Well, that wasn't the case. We'll get out of this. We'll go to this website and it's not one of those scammy websites, guys. It's actually, if you look at it, it's sdcard.org. And I'll leave a link down in the description below. You just click on downloads. You click on for Mac formatting cards. Or if you're Windows, you click on Windows. So I'm Mac and I'll leave the link down below for the Windows and the Macs. So that way you guys won't get confused. You go to the bottom, you hit accept, you hit allow, it starts downloading. You don't have to give an email, you don't have to do anything. This is actually like, I guess, the protocol for SD cards. So as soon as it downloads, we'll go into my downloads file, we'll open that up, and there's SD card formatter, we'll unzip it, click on that, install it, continue, continue, I agree, install. Move to trash. All right, so that's done. We downloaded the installer. Now if you go to Launchpad and you scroll over to the side, you'll see, or you can look in your applications, SD card formatter. So we'll click on that. It'll open up and we want to do a quick format. And right away, it sees the mass media storage device. You can see it right there and notices what it is. And we could do a quick format and we'll label it high. I just make it automatically high, but it detects it right away that it's an SD card. Click on format, continue. You know, it tells you you're gonna lose all your information. You are gonna lose everything, guys, so I'm not responsible for your SD cards. You're gonna lose everything. Hit continue. Boom. Put in your password. Okay. Done. And it says it freed up 32 gigs of space. Now, if we open up Disk Utilities now, and we click on High, Da -da! you have 32 gigs of free space. Fix the SD card, we're able to read and write again, we can format it for this camera and I don't have to worry about it anymore. So that's all it took, I'm putting it back into the camera and I'm gonna format it right now, just to prove that it works. So if I go straight down to the bottom and if I just click on format, format SD, 
confirm. Formatted it, no problems. And if you look at it, it gives me, for 4K video at 30 frames per second, it gives me an hour and 15 minutes. So there you go. Ready to go, now I can test this bad boy. So I just thought that would help out some of you guys because I figured I was going through the scenario and I didn't know what the heck was going on and I had to figure it out and I know I formatted it for a Raspberry Pi but I didn't know what would cause it to only show that it only had so much and it wasn't showing me the partitions that were actually on the SD card. So I thought this would be a really helpful little trick after I played with this and it only took me probably about 20 minutes to figure out what was going on with my SD card and this will probably Probably take you less than five minutes to fix your SD card. That's it for me guys. Make sure you like and subscribe and ring that bell if this helped you in any way. It helps me out tremendously. It also tells me that I'm doing the right type of content that you want to see. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later guys! Chris Williams today today we'll be talking about how to fix an SD card that's reading the wrong the wrong wrong I know what you're thinking, Crazy Will's Tech Show's over, what do I do now? Real simple guys, you hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button and then you check out my other videos. It's not over. I made a lot. It's been a good year.